Welcome to our Nativity Worship this morning here in the Nottingham South Circuit. This will probably be for many quite a different time of Nativity Worship, a different experience of the Nativity story. One perhaps which is more reflective. It will give us an opportunity to listen and to watch during this season of waiting. I'm grateful this morning, as we all are, for the many people who contributed to this time of worship. And so before we light our third candle, let us pray. Lord, help us to see you more clearly through the images that we see on screen today. Help us to hear you more clearly through the words that are spoken and sung, words of scripture and of poetry. Help us to know that you are here with us in this season of Advent and through our time of Nativity worship today. Amen. Once upon a time. Is that how stories start? Yet this is a story that tells of God's heart. To reach out to all people, to show them his love. And it starts with a baby God sent from above. Now this story is told for friends and for stranger. But be careful, don't miss the child in a manger. For this is a true Christmas, not the glitz and the bling. Yes, a baby in a cradle, born to be king. God, God present to the Word. The Word was God. 
In readiness for God from day one, everyone was created through him. Nothing, not one thing, came into being without him. What came into existence was life, and the life was light to live by. The lifelight blazed out in the darkness. The darkness couldn't put it out. The lifelight was the real thing. Every person entering life, he brings into light. He was the word. The word was there through him. And yet the word didn't even notice. He came to his own people, but they didn't want him. But whoever did want him, who believed he was who he claimed and would do what he said, he made to be true to their selves, the child of God's selves, these are not the God begotten, not blood begotten, not flesh begotten, not sex begotten. The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighbourhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one of a kind glory, like father like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. So let us now travel on a journey to Bethlehem with Mary and Joseph. Come. Let's travel with them. And as they are walking uphill and down dale, let me tell you the beginning of this very strange tale. For it really began before time came to be, when God's heart beat in love for you and for me. When the Word was with God, and God was that Word. When the Lord breathed his breath, and creation was stirred. Life came into being. It was God's good design that we live our lives with him, like a branch on the vine. Yet, the world is not perfect. And a free choice was given when God asked us to love him with an invite to heaven. For God would not force us to love him each day. And the world gets it wrong when we go our own way. But hope has not vanished. For God always had planned this tale of a baby with his love in those hands. So we return to young Mary and Joseph en route. It's a long way to travel and they'll need a quick shoot. It's a long way to travel, they'll need a quick scoot. It's a 90 mile journey to reach Joseph's hometown and for there they must register and write their names down. So we'll leave them there to wander a little while more and hear of the angel who told Mary the score. Fear not, well, fear not were his words when he appeared in the night. To tell of God's plan gave Mary a fright. As she listened to Gabriel ask for her yes, to carry God's son for the world to be blessed. A young teenage girl engaged to be married, yet she trusted her Lord in it. Yet she trusted her Lord in Yet yeah, she trusted her Lord in his child that she carried. But Joseph, her fiancé, was not right impressed. When he found Mary pregnant, in fact, he was so stressed. God sent that angel to, to calm Joseph down and tell him to take Mary to Bethlehem town. For God had spoken through his prophets long, long ago. For God had spoken through his prophets long, long before. 
for the world's kill of the birth of a saviour that would be the world's cure for the bad things the wrong things the hurt that we do this baby yes a baby us with God will be new This journey to Bethlehem draws to a close for Mary and Joseph, but heaven alone knows where they will find shelter and rest for the night. Every hotel room taken, no spare room in sight. And birth pains have started, this young teenage girl can feel her babe moving, her head's in a whirl. How can God's saviour be born in a manger, the only place free to guard them from danger? Of bandits and robbers, from thugs and from thieves, but God knows his son is given for these. And out on the hillside the shepherds are keeping a watch on their sheep while townsfolk are sleeping. As the sun disappears and dips out of sight, these shepherds prepare for a long, lonely night. For they are not welcome down there in the city. A shepherd, it seems, will earn only pity. His task to nurture a lamb without blemish a sacrifice tis true, but not one to relish. For shepherds are outcasts rejected this night, until a mysterious moment of glorious light fills the night air and heavenly voices resound. The angels' hallelujahs now travel earthbound. 
For God chooses, chooses the weakest, the lonely and lost, to hear his good news in a message now glossed. By the angels, shepherds, no time to lose. This baby is born for you, you simply must choose. If he is your Messiah, and to give him your all, so hurry, a child now awaits in an animal stall. And here all can find shelter where cattle have fed, a child in the manger or a king-sized bed. Now the thing about babies, as everyone knows, is friends buy new presents, new toys and new clothes. For this baby is different, the gifts to give him, as he lays in a manger, a gift for a king. Tradition would have shepherd and sheep at Christ's feet, and the next to arrive would be Magi to greet this new baby, bearing gifts, gold and myrrh, and perfume, frankincense, a gift most obscure, and Mary, we're told, would ponder this treasure. Throughout Jesus' life, as she got the full measure of all that this baby would grow to become, the true image of God, yes, God's only son. Now here we're allowed some poetic license, for the kings had to travel a mighty long distance. Reading the stars as they crossed the hot sands, two years did they travel from distant far lands. So they didn't arrive in the stable that night, but they followed a star which gave out a bright light. And it shone of a promise which they quickly discovered, wasn't found in a palace but where the star hovered. They'd misread the sign, at at first did inquire, at the palace of King Herod, whose burning desire was for news from these magi of the newly born king. Pray tell me where to find him and I'll honour him. But God knew the massacre Herod was scheming, and he warned the wise magi while they were a-dreaming. So over an outhouse, a poor family's lodging, the kings took their gifts but returned home dodging. The wrath of King Herod, who soon in his rage would demand of his soldiers to kill and rampage. For God's plan of salvation was sealed long ago. He sent Mary and Joseph an angel to show them the danger and escape from the land before the murder of Jesus that Herod had planned. Turn now to Bethlehem. God's Son, given for all, unite shepherd and wise men beside the cow stall. Can you believe it? How can it be that the wise and unlearned both bend at the knee? 
They honour this baby who relies on his mother. Yet here in the stable unite sister and brother. For we too are welcome to gaze on this sight, the presence of God who was born on that night. For the world now has changed, a new era begun. Our God, fully human, is born in his Son. So this journey to Bethlehem, is it all now complete? Does it finish with worship as we gather at the feet of this baby? Is that all there will be? Is it time to unwrap presents stored under the tree? Yet what if that journey is now ours for the taking? New hope to be found, new peace in the making. That journey to Bethlehem was once upon a time. Yet does it ring true and its message still chime 2,000 years later? Can this baby still reach the hearts of the people that God longs to teach? of his love that still offered for you and for me. Is the answer for life, where love is the key to be found in a baby, God fully divine, yet still fully human? Is Jesus the sign that God has not finished the work he began when he imagined creation and then chose to span the gap between heaven and earth that we know. Can a baby at Christmas this love really show? Yes, this journey to Bethlehem is really a tale for the young and the old, for the lively and frail, for the tall and the short, the skinny and lean, for the bad and the good, and all in between. Come, look on this manger, now what will you bring? Can you offer your yes to this child who is king? For the miracle birth calls us to take part in the story of Christmas that tells of God's heart, to reach out to all people, to show them his love, and it starts with this baby God sent from above. As we centre ourselves on God, we pray. As we journey once more with you through this season of Advent, help us to focus on you, Lord, and to see you at work in our homes, our communities and our world. As we journey once more with you, Lord, through this season of Advent, Help us not to lose sight of what you have planned for each one of us as individuals, as churches and as nations. As we journey once more, Lord, with you through this season of Advent, help us to always put you at the centre, the light which shines into the darkest corners of our world. The hope which is there for all your people, especially at this time when we often feel hopeless rather than hopeful. The Prince of Peace, who is able to banish away fear and uncertainty. Lord, we pray for your light, your peace and your hope this Advent season. Amen.
Go out to celebrate in love and laughter. Go as lights for the world. Shine in the darkness. Go out. Act justly and walk humbly with our God. Go in the name of him who loved and laughed, who was the true light of the world and who humbled himself as a manger child. Amen.